Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, I'm going to be showcasing to you all a very cute but powerful small mock. As you can see here, guys, I have a very small chibi size Tahu Master of Fire. So you guys might be thinking to yourselves, what does chibi mean? Well, chibi in the Japanese language practically means short. So it's the slang word for short, and uh, that's practically what you can see right in front of you guys. Just a cute little miniature version of Tahu the Master of Fire. So instead of using the original Red Mask of Fire, I thought I would amp him up a bit and give him the Trans Red Mask of Fire from the Heroes Polybag uh, that was released in 2015. Of course, as we all know, he does have the powers of fire. So, of course, by giving him the Trans Red, you can tell that he is just blazing to fight. And, of course, he has the fire running through his whole body there, ready for battle. And I just thought it looked so cool, of course, with the other Trans Red bits and pieces that I have, uh, of course, for the this little chibi cute little set. <laughs> so looking at the upper half of the body first, you can see that I have used the typical armor shells that are quite, you know, commonly found from the 2015 Toa sets. Now of course this comes from Tahu, the Master of Fire, so I use that there and of course you can see the size 5 armor shell that's just underneath there, of course also from the Master of Fire. I thought it would go well together, of course, as mentioned, this set is meant to be giving off the red RNG kind of gold theme going on, obviously to replicate the uh, idea that this is meant to be the Master of Fire Tahu, but uh, anyway. You can see here on the side as well that I have used, I know this is not meant to be, I know it's like, it's not 2015. This is a 2016 piece as you all know, commonly found from the Tahu Uniter of Fire in his legs. Of course, not in his legs, but on his legs. But uh, you can see there, those are the shin pads or the shin armor pieces that he does have for his uh, body there. And I thought I would use it because they just look so good and I think they go really well with the set. You can see them on both sides there. They just look very, very nice. And of course you can see these size 3 armor shells that I also have used for his arms there. And of course, quite cutely enough, I had to use the trans red, uh, of course, uh, fist pieces there. Just, you know, just to continue on with the uh, color scheme there. Anyway, moving down below, you can see here just the armor shells typically found. Size 3 as well, uh, no different. And then, of course, the limb pieces there, um, as you can see. Now, looking down more, you can see that I've also given him the golden feet from Tahu, the Uniter of Fire. Instead of using, obviously, the other... Um, feet, you know, colors, things like that. I thought I'd use gold just because it goes so well with the uh, torso piece there, you know, adding a bit more gold there, which looks great. Now, I've also added in the trans red, orange, borok pieces. Now, why you think I added those in? Well, just because, you know, to give him that idea that obviously he's got flames coming out of his, uh, his feet there. So, just portraying the idea, you know, because obviously he is the elemental power of fire. So, I thought I'd add them in because, uh, yeah, it just looks great. And uh, I think it goes so well with the set, to be honest. And I guess my favorite part of this set is, of course, replicating the back of the Master of Fire Tahu there. You can see there are the golden swords that he does have in his back, typically, as you all know. Originally from the Toa, or the original size Toa, as you all know. But this is what I've replicated it. And I've used the Lego Ninjago swords there, as you can see, held in by these little uh, clips there. Uh, hopefully you guys can just see them there, but I added those in. And, of course, you can see the size 3 armor shell just in the back there, um, just obviously to add something in the back but uh, I think it looks great and of course you can also see I've used a uh, trans orange brain stock there or trans red brain stock there which looks great but overall I think the set is great I think you know I I don't know just this creation was literally I think it took me about three four minutes to create this little dude but um, I think it looks great I really like the uh, concept the idea and uh, his theme his just theme color his overall look just looks nice so then I guess the final thing to show you guys are just these uh, obviously standard fire swords that he does have there. Of course we know that he has these in both the Master form and in the uh, Uniter form. But uh, I thought I'd just give him the uh, Uniter sword, you know, that uh, obviously the 2016 set has. Just because, because, I don't know, I, I really don't know why I added those in. But I thought it would go well because it kind of gives off that orange red type of theme since it does give off that fiery look. And uh, that's just something I really, really like and I thought it would just go well with the set. Now of course at the end of the day, he obviously does look like he is in the orange there, but I would prefer that he is in the red. So kind of like the red-orangey type of color there, but um, 
Of course, you guys might think it's orange, but uh, at the end of the day, I just think that it's kind of the red, you know, orangey, mainly red, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much that. But I, gu I guess the best thing about this whole set is just the back here. I don't know. I, I just like the fact that the golden swords are there in the back, of course, replicating the 2015 Master of Tahu there. But uh, overall, I think that is pretty much it. I guess articulation, you can get some, you know, articulation there. Obviously, there's limited movement just because... Um, this set is very, very small, but uh, you, you know, you can get some articulation there, you know, move the, the leg just a bit, but uh, you know, you can move it around. Uh, of course, the head does move around. You just need to move the shoulder pieces, but uh, at the end of the day, it does work out well. And of course, you know, hand movements and arm movements, etc., etc. So overall, it looks great and uh, good articulation. Uh, you know, I just really, really like it. I think this has to be like, like the coolest thing I've ever built to be honest I don't know why it just looks so cool there I hope you guys enjoyed this little cute chibi mock version of Tahu Master of Fire please let me know guys smash that thumbs up button and support this idea if you want me to keep continuing uh, of course making these cute little chibi uh, mocks you know obviously I can do Gali I can do Pohatu I can do many other different ones just let me know guys obviously smash that thumbs up button if we can get even 20 likes I'll definitely go ahead and continue doing this I think it's so cool. Of course, I've seen other, uh, you know, Lego builders out there, other YouTubers who have done it. I thought, hey, why not do it too? And uh, here's my version of the Master of Fire Tahu. And also, just one more thing to mention, guys, that today is the last day to submit your mock for the Hamumu Polybag competition. So if you do really want to send it in now, send it here, guys, hamumu5 at gmail.com. You can see it on the screen right now. But uh, yeah, that is it, guys. Last day today. Tomorrow it will be closed. As for announcing the winners, I will announce the winners by next week, Friday, and I'll give you more details about that tomorrow when I do post up, uh, of course, the next video. So that video will be practically all on the Hamumu Polybag competition. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. But anyway, as mentioned, smash that thumbs up button if you have enjoyed this, guys. Remember, 20 likes, and uh, I'll definitely go ahead and create more of these cute little uh, sets here. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you again so much for watching. I really all hope you have enjoyed this. Have a great day, everyone. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.